Hi, today, today we're going to talk about Shih Tzus and the important stuff about them. One example is shown right here in these two pictures. And the first thing you should need is food, water, and exercise every day. They also need to be brushed every day. They need regular haircuts every six weeks and need to be trained in a young age. Oh, good boy. And some of the supplies you're going to need for your dog is a cage with a pet bed and make sure it's really comfy for them. Pads. Dog food. Dog treats. Something to clean your dog's mouth. Pens or baby gates. A collar, leash, and a harness with an ID tag. Shampoo for dogs. Something to kill the fleas on your dog. Eardrops. A brush. And a lot of toys for your dog. So that was a whole list of what you should need before getting your dog. Here comes some fun facts. Shih Tzus are mixed with a pekinez and lops apsos. So that's what makes a beautiful Shih Tzu. Um, shih Tzu means lion dog in China because they used to treat them like lions over there and like kings and all that. Shih Tzus weigh to 9 to 16 pounds. That's why I have really small dogs. Shih Tzus aren't guard dogs, neither hunters. They just lap dogs. They just lay in your lap and all that. Um, they they're mostly used used for modeling. That's why they have. That's why they leave like their hair really long, and that's why you have to be brushing his hair daily. Um, they they um are really nice dogs if you train them. If you don't train them, they could probably become aggressive, and that, that isn't really good for people. And um they. They um, eat a. They don't eat a lot, so don't panic when you see them eating. And never feed them pork, chocolate, or onions or other type of food from humans because it's really bad and it can cause it. It could cause them pain in their stomach. And it's if your if your dog doesn't eat the kibble food food for your from dogs, you can also buy from canned food that it's made of chicken and rice. And he, he could probably like that and for that he could eat more instead of like eating nothing in one day. And they can live everywhere. They can live in a big house, in a small house, an apartment. They don't have no problem with that. They live 11 to 16 years. Um, it's pretty like a long time. And it's better to trim in a young age, remember that, because if you're trying in an older age, um, it's really hard to train them and it wouldn't be really easy so you know you want to have your dog really educated and and you want them to do like awesome tricks and all that so it's better to train them when when they're really young um, <clears throat> um they are better for older people because with you know young kids like can pull their hair and all that she just don't like that so she just are best for older people like 20 and up or something like that like about there and they are lap dogs remember that and so yeah and make sure um, you follow all these steps because trust me you're gonna need them so bye see you next time